Good morning, y'all. So I just got up a few minutes ago. I'm in a, I took a shower, so I look like a mess. And I'm about to show you what I'm gonna make for my breakfast. Today, I'm gonna go to the talent agency in Los Angeles, so I'm really excited for that. So this just be a get ready with me, like follow me around day kind of video. So let's get cooking. Okay guys, so I'm done getting ready. So I finished my makeup, my hair, and my outfit. So I've read a lot of like articles that say that you want to come in like a blank canvas because they want to see like when you are modeling and I guess acting too, like you're a blank canvas and the designer or like the director is going to dress you up. So you don't want to be all dot up with fake lashes, hair extensions, you just want to come as your natural self. So I just did my basic everyday neutral natural makeup that looks super natural. And so yeah, and then for my hair, I read a lot of things that say put your hair in a ponytail. Well, I don't look the best in a ponytail. So what I basically did is I put it in a braid and I frayed some pieces out on the side. I was thinking about putting like the hair powder so I don't look so bald, but I was like, you know what, I need to go natural and not lie about myself. So fray the pieces, that way they can, they, they like you, your hair to be out of your face so they can see your bone structure. They don't want you to hide anything because you know a lot of Asian girls be hiding our faces. And then for my outfit, um, I have this white pink shirt. It's kind of fitted. Um, you're supposed to get like a plain basic tee, but I don't have any of those, so we're gonna have to go with this. And then light wash skinny jeans. And then I am just wearing some nude heels. Oops. So before we go um, on this adventure, I am actually really excited. I am kind of nervous. The talent agency that I'm going to, they have open castings every Tuesday and Thursday of the month from two to four and it's Fontaine Hero Talent Agency for, it's for modeling and talent. And so I am going in for both, but mainly acting because I am five foot two, so I wouldn't get casted a lot for a lot of modeling roles and I can't do runway because of my height. So um, that's why I chose it and because I really wanna go in person, especially with my limited acting experience and my zero modeling experience. Um, like my only modeling gig that I will have ever done will be on the 22nd and that hasn't happened yet So I have no modeling experience But anyways, so um, I called them. I submitted my online application They ask a bunch of questions like your measurements dress size whatever <clears throat> And you upload photos and when I called them about the in like open casting thing They told me to bring a resume and some photos of me <clears throat> Um, nowhere on the website, I think, or they didn't tell me to bring a reel. I don't have a reel, um, because all I have done is, like, one on-screen camera roll. I've only done, like, school project acting on-screen. All of the acting that I've done has been pretty much been on stage, so live. Um, and the other stuff that I do is, like, videos for YouTube. So, um, I actually had a lot more to write on my resume than I originally thought because I wasn't going to bring a resume. I was going to bring my regular resume, but that's not going to work because it doesn't have acting experience. This is what I made mine look like. Um, I think it looks super cute. Like a regular resume, you cannot do this. I feel like this is too much. But I just had my awards on there, contact details, additional skills, my acting experience with theater and film, and then just like my academic history. Um, so yeah, 
So they told me to bring photos, so I printed these out a few days ago. Uh, so I have, I need professional headshots, but I am broke and I need photographer friends. So I just have this photo. I just kind of picked ones that I thought I looked good in and that didn't look like selfies. So I just printed a few out. This is from my pageant. That's a selfie I took. I don't know why some of my head is cut off in some of these. That's also from the pageant. And then that's from my collab. And then this is like my actual headshot for, for LinkedIn though. And also because I don't have a reel and I really want to showcase to them that I can act, I memorized three different monologues. One called Southern Susie, another one called Smile Pretty Alice, and another one called Beautiful Day just so I have something to work with. So I will link those down below in the description if you want to use those as well. Okay y'all, so I just got to LA and I am currently parked. So there is parking for like the building where the agency is at, but I didn't park there. You do have to pay. Um, and so like the, the neighborhood, when you come in near the building, um, a lot of it you can't park there in the neighborhood because it's for residents only and you need a permit and there's like a certain like time you can't park but if you go further in the neighborhood then you can park but there's certain times that you can't because it's street sleep street sweeping so where I'm parked right now you can't park from like 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Thursdays it's like 1 past 12 already so I'm good and I'll pay for parking just so you know in case you want to go to this agency hey guys I just got back from the talent agency but I want to show you something before I tell you what happened I literally bled on my heel walking back like my leg was losing circulation but I was like you know what I'm just gonna walk the mile <laughs> anyways but I bled through it. It's like scratched my um, heel, above my heel. And I just got these, like, oh my gosh, that bothers me. If you're wondering if it's a legit agency or anything, it is legit. It's in a really nice building. It's like a skyscraper kind of thing. There's an office. There was only about three other people there, but I got there like right at two o'clock when they started open casting. So it was pretty fast. I want to say I talked to them about 20 minutes. Judith and the other two ladies that work there who are like part of different divisions, um, they were really nice, really nice people. And I felt really welcome, especially it's the first agency I've ever been in. And I feel like LA is really judgy and like exclusive kind of thing, but I felt really comfortable there. I didn't give, I didn't practice any monologues in front of them. They didn't ask me to do anything like that. Um, she looked at my photos and she looked at my resume and she was just asking me questions like my age was on there so she was asking my age about my college schedule like my availability <laughs> my availability she was asking about my ethnicity um about my height stuff like that and um they didn't sign me um and they were giving me some real like advice i knew my height was going to be a problem i had previously called their office and asked about his height a deal breaker and they said not necessarily for print but when I went in Judith who's like the owner said that I can't do anything whatsoever modeling because of my height because I'm too short well not she said she's like that's average but she's like you need to be taller to do modeling anything so she said that the only thing that I could really do would be TV commercials and that's what she saw me as for in their agency because I had previously gone in for modeling and like TV commercials and then she brought in one of the other agents and um, they were Judith the main person she was like I can't cast you as Asian because you have too much white in you and then the other agent was like I, I see you as Asian like that's my first impression of you so she's like well I would have to fully cast you as Asian in a commercial and so she was telling me they like all three ladies they loved my look they were like I was like oh my gosh like at least no one told me I look ugly because I would have probably cried but they all were like you're really beautiful you have great complexion you have good skin she, they're like you have the look but the I, I believe it's the agent who does the acting she was like I just don't want you to sign with us and be frustrated that you're not getting roles and she told me that she doesn't get a lot of requests for like Asian type of roles for like acting 
and they were just saying how like it might be difficult because I look one way or the other because I am bi biracial but I figured that would help me in the long run because I could be I could look different ways for many different roles instead of just one role but that kind of hurt me today because they were the, the different agents were like seeing me more as one race than the other and so they were trying to see like do we get roles for this and because it's a newer agency they were like some of our departments aren't fully built up so then they were talking about beauty which is modeling but it's from like the shoulders up I want to say so it's like a face and shoulder thing and they were like well you'd be really good for that but you would have to be tall to do that because a lot of times that their clients want them to have a model that's tall and is pretty has a nice face and complexion and so they would have a hard time finding me a role in that department the beauty department because of my height so like we can't do that even though like you have the looks for it so um yeah and then judith was saying how like also the clients usually want like kind of like a celebrity name brand person for like the beauty like makeup type hair skincare type of stuff which i totally understand like if you see any beauty hair makeup commercial it usually has a celebrity in it and then so yeah um they just they told me don't don't they told me like this is not a dead end you have a lot of options they told me to go on the sag after um, website to find more agencies and they're like this is not a dead end um, don't just listen to our opinion on it there's going to be other agencies as well who might have more roles for you um, but yeah their main issue was I can't do modeling because of my height I can't do the beauty because of my height and they don't get a lot of requests for like Asian actors at their agency and they already have like an Asian girl Bruh. I thought I was gonna stall on the freeway because I got no gas and I'm in the middle of traffic in LA oh, oh my god <clears throat> let me show you guys see I got no gas and I, th I had like 26 miles left to go in rush hour traffic